Back now for the reassembly of the Winchester 1400 Mark II. I got everything cleaned up fairly well. I had the trigger assembly just well oiled and sitting there soaking. I have all the breech as well, the whole breech slide and the breech bolt. Nothing else really has been oiled out oiled as it goes together. Take the breech slide and get it ready to slide in. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna take the ejector spring assembly and actually get it on the pin. As I get it on that pin, I'll hold it. If you can see it from the side here, I'll line it up. And this ejector slide assembly, that slide will line up with it. And it'll slide in like so. And it just slide right in. Now once I get this slid back, I typically like to take the plate, the actual cock and handle bridge plate. I'll go ahead and get it in there at an angle like so. The more forward you go, the better, the better angle you get on that. See if I can do it slowly so it'll show it. And there you go. A little bit of an angle and that's really in place but the only thing is the firing pin has to go in it has to go in and then that little catch on that plate holds it so I'm going to assemble this I'm going to give it a little bit of rim oil and again over the spring I've already um, Actually, oiled off camera, I oiled the inside of that actual breech bolt slide. So, if you can see that, all you got to do is just get that. I know my hands are going to block it. You just have to get it in there where that catch is holding that firing pin right there on that where it's turned down. This is actually the older style firing pin. I noticed they sell a newer style. I don't know if they still make this one anymore. By the way, they do still make parts for this thing if you're interested um, or need them. I know Numrich Corporation, uh, N-U-M-R-I-C-H Corporation, they actually have a good breakdown and a good um, assortment of parts used as well as I think some of them are newer manufactured still. This is not difficult, but it does take both hands and me being able to see straight in there. So I'm doing it where you probably can't see it on camera. I'm pretty much doing this off camera. But that firing pin will go in there. And once it goes in and you can hold that plate down, you can make sure it can move back and forth like so. And you know now you can put your screw in. Now this screw is tiny. It doesn't take a lot of force. So it's a little small, small flat blade screwdriver. It is like a little shoulder screw. Now, I will go ahead and mention, because I have had trouble with this in the past, make sure this plate is flush. Sometimes you don't have it exactly right on the journal of that firing pin and that notch. And if this plate is not flush, when you go to put your trigger mechanism in, it will give you a fit. And it should go in and the, and the pin line up easy. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I want to tell you right here, to make absolutely sure this is down. That this screw feels like it tightens up good. If it feels springy, it could be because that plate is lifted up. So I always double check that. 
so we have the ejector spring and the slide back in for the firing pin in and the actual cock and handle bridge in place. I'm actually going to put a light coat of ram oil inside now, just the way I do it. Everybody's different. At this point, I'm actually going to take my slide arms. And one thing you can notice before I stick them in, these notches line up with the actual breech bolt slide. So as we bring these in, we want to catch and actually bring that slide back and forth. But we don't, we don't have to lock them in yet. We can do what we need to do here first that we like. I'm actually going to put a light coat of oil inside the tube. I'm going to put the spring. And it, it does matter which direction this goes. And which direction the actual piston goes. You want this swollen end of the spring, if you will to be pointing towards the piston. You can tell it fits really well like that. And you actually want, let me just take this back out. You want this piston to go like so. And when it's flush, you, you want your gas ports to line up just like so in the pin. This pin is gonna drop in just like this. But we're gonna have the spring in it. Slide this back out of the way. I have ordered up a little. I'm going to put a little more on it. And it's just this easy. You can do it with your hands. You don't have to have a special tool to do it. It's got a good little taper on the pin, so it actually drops in, I mean, very, very easily. And really, that's all it is to it. So we got that in. That looks good. What we have to do now is take those slide arms and lift them up and we want to make sure it catches on the slide and there we go if we push them down there we go now nothing's holding them in place so I'm not going to push them all the way back so at this point I got these in place everything looks great with that once again, I like my oil. I like to keep it well lubricated. A little bit of rim oil. And then my well lubricated assembly will slide right in. Let me change my angle. I want you to be able to see the way that groove lines up. Just a little bit of work. That's all it is to it. A little bit of working. Slides in. And this should be flush. Or remember what I said about the slide? It may be cocked up. But this, this is just that simple. You don't need a tool to put it in. With the slide sitting here, I checked the extractor. I have the barrel ports clean very well. It's hard to get in there on this particular model, but you just gotta make sure that you can even see light. If you shine with a flashlight in there, you should be able to look down that barrel and actually see those portholes, the light shining through. So if you don't know about that, double check it. So now I'm just gonna put the Put the forearm and the barrel together. Just bring it down. Just make sure that you rock it back and forth and get that, the very end of that breech bolt has to line up with the notches. The notches that's in the end of that barrel. If you can see that. And 
and she is back together once we put this on the actual valve cap. Now I do have to get washers for mine. I didn't miss that step, like I said in the previous video, I just don't have them. So I'm gonna see if Numrich has them and, uh, and possibly get me some washers, but it's worked for a lot of years like it is. I'm not saying it's right. I need to put the right, the right parts back in it. But that is the reassembly of the Winchester 1400 Mark II. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.